Good morning, TJ, and welcome to today's edition of TJ TV News. My name is Akansha. And my name is Zahishnu. Today is Monday, April 25th. If your club would like us to broadcast an announcement, scan this QR code or visit tinyurl.com slash tjbroadcast. Calling all freshmen and sophomores interested in joining the TJ Honor Council. Interest meetings will take place Monday and Wednesday lunch and Wednesday and Friday during 8A in Dr. Scott's room. Attendance to one of those meetings is mandatory, so to apply, check ION for more information. TJ Give and NHS are collaborating to send care packages to the Bethany House of Northern Virginia. Bethany House is a nonprofit that supports women and children, military families, and senior centers by sending care packages suited to their needs. If you're interested, sign up for 8A or 8B on April 20th and the 27th. Many Muslim students within the TJ community have been observing the month of Ramadan, the ninth month of the Islamic lunar calendar. With rituals beginning before the sun rises to finishing after the sun sets, it is an integral part of the Muslim faith. But how do students adjust to these practices while at school? April 2nd, 2022 marked the beginning of Ramadan, and for Muslim students at TJ, a holy month of faithful intention and introspection. It's basically a month in the lunar calendar, and for all three days, you just fast because you try to practice self-control. You, like, you basically deprive yourself of like basic needs. Ramadan is a time to become more God-conscious for Muslims. Now, I've usually heard two explanations for, I guess, why we have Ramadan. One would be, um, one explanation would be so that we can understand the poor and needy more who don't have access to food the way that we do. And the second reason is to be more God-conscious throughout the day. For a month-long fast, food surprisingly plays an important role. A lot of significance is placed on two meals, the early morning suhoor and the late night iftar. The thing is that you would think that with fasting, you would be losing weight. But honestly, people actually end up gaining weight. A lot of families do have iftar parties throughout the month. So like so far, like this past month, I believe into like four iftar parties already, right? So, um, you know, and a lot of friends just get together as well, and I'll eat iftar with my friends as well. I mean, like, it's really fun. In addition to daily fasting and nightly feasting, Muslims often pray five times a day. But with these prayers interspersed throughout the day, some Muslim students choose not to fit daily prayers into their school schedule. I don't pray five times a day. I do have, like, some friends who will make time throughout the day. Like, they will really, like, sign out of class, and they'll, like, go make prayers for, like, ten minutes and come back and catch up on all the assignments and everything. Despite conflicts between praying and learning, TJ has become an accommodating place for its Muslim community, especially during Ramadan. The thing that I really like about TJ during Ramadan is, I remember back in middle school, I would have to eat lunch in a designated time in the cafeteria, right? At TJ, I really like how lunch, you can kind of do whatever you want, right? So, um, like, if I don't want to like look at food, like, I just won't. After 30 days of fasting, the month of Ramadan finally comes to an end on Eid al-Fitr. It's basically like Christmas, you give like, it's presents, you give money, you do like Mendy, henna designs. We're actually having Eid celebration at TJ as well on May 6th, so everyone can join that. And we can have, there's like a whole potluck, we're going to do henna as well there, it's really fun. Don't forget to follow us on Instagram, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and listen to the TJ TV podcast network on SoundCloud. From TJTV News, this is Akan Shabaka. And Zahishnu Anamansetti. Thanks for watching, everyone, and we'll see you next week.